out of a sample of 3,803 tested over the last 24 hours, 447 people have tested positive. This now pushes our cumulative number of positive cases to nearly 9,000, standing at 8,975. The total number of tested samples to date have now gone over the 200,000 figure to 200,311. And from today's positive cases, Mombasa has an additional 14. This should not make us afraid, neither should it make us complacent. What we know is that if we take the measures that the Ministry of Health has, um, has, uh, has, has told everybody, then we know that in spite of the many numbers, we are still going to be safe. We should not be complacent. And on the contrary, it is to stir the Mombasa people to a higher level of vigilance, even though you only have 14. But I'm also delighted to inform you that we have also discharged 64 patients from our hospitals, bringing now the number of recoveries to 2,657. In Mombasa County, 738 people have recovered from the disease, and 335 are currently on home. From a statistical point of view, 138 people at the moment test positive from every 100,000 sample ran in Mombasa, while in Nairobi, with a caseload of 4,000, 554, it is 100 for every 100,000 people, which means, in effect, that in terms of the intensity of the disease, Mombasa is ahead of the other counties. Fortunately for us, most of these people are fairly asymptomatic. And this explains the importance of having expanded capacity of isolation centers here in Mombasa and all other counties. As a government, we are pleased to note that Mombasa County has already achieved more than that. They are surpassing 432 and moving on ahead. Indeed, you are leading the country in the number of isolation beds, out of which 12 are ICU beds. These have been complemented with 10 ventilators. I really recommend you and the government of Mombasa for your work. We are also pleased at the level of innovation you have embraced in, in repurposing, repurposing the engineering department of the university into a fully fledged hospital in just a matter of months. Not years, just a matter of months, you repurposed that university into a hospital. And the need to provide, and you also created a special unit for patients with mental illness, perhaps the only county in Kenya that has done so.